Hello everyone, I'm Penrose 7776 You saw nothing and on Dark Defense today we have Pick Nick Flora She got a refine recently and I mean on one hand it's nothing special On the other hand it's plus 8 wall stats, plus 16 to speed effectively You can't turn that down, plus a little extra bit of damage reduction if you've seen my old replays, you'll know I already think Picnic Floor is a very strong unit. On the enemy team, Yen Fei, plus 5, Legendary Micaiah, low key, Ninjorian, plus 10, Ooh. Ash, and Peony. Going straight in there, wow, didn't expect that. And that, by the way, is the first use of the uh, Hex Trap. It's being buffed up to level 5. I mean, you can now stop units with up to 60 hit points, um, which I think is enough to actually make it worth using, perhaps. Anyway, the approach here. Setting up just out of range. Next turn, I imagine, in they go. And um, don't ask about Ascendant Iran's build here. Yep, definitely did not give her Hardy Fighter just to dice Ninja in anyway. Anyway, Kanto Control activates, but they can still back out. I said they can still back out, not go further in. Okay, they're killing um, Azura, who's also on the team. Going for, oh, going for Katria as well. I'm guessing they think if they kill both harmonic units, then they have access to Ninjorin's duo skill. There it is. Um, but in terms of how many actions they have left, they don't have a, they don't have enough, and especially if they waste their action on the real gravity trap. But yeah, they have none now. And anyway, this was always going to happen. What Goodbye. Flora picking up our first kill of the season there against Legendary Micaiah. And wow, Bramamond, where did you get such big numbers from? I mean, Ninjorin not exactly famous for having good defensive stats, but did not expect that from Bramamond. Well, I never. Anyway, Bramamond, for his trouble, is getting uh, slashed to death by Yenfei here, but Flora and Medeus still alive and oh is your damage reduction enough this is where you cease astra does not kill and our first iceberg of the season 50 damage and knowing how much damage reduction Yenfei has that was a lot more than 50 damage before that and that forces out the surrender good work Flora, one match in, she's already paying off. Big difference from how Atri did last time. Flora, I can trust. All right, who's up next? We have here, ooh. Air, who's plus two. Brave Hector, plus 10. Ash, uh, Camilla, um, plus three. That's one alt of her. Uh, Valentine's Lucina plus two and Brave Erica plus six. Which ult is that? Is that a Drift Camilla? Or is that. I, I can never remember. There's too many Camillas in this game, in case you haven't noticed. Anyway, going straight in with their saves. A fairly optimized save ball here. Except. Ooh, Catria going in first. That's a lot of damage. Lucina does not survive. Wow. Not expecting that. Medeus does not kill Ash here. But I want a Catria getting a kill. That's not something you see every day, and especially when against a save unit. Wow. Always in for surprise. And Flora. Oh, good. That's Sol. She lives. She lives and... Here comes the iceberg. 60 
damage against a plus 10 brave Hector. Don't see that every day, especially not from a red unit. Flora, you wonderful, wonderful. By the way, Ash is also dead. Good job, Ramon. But I'm busy, I'm busy congratulating Flora here for being just absurdly good. You guys saw that, right? 60 damage. Brave Hector, plus 10 with the classic Valentine's Lucina set up for like optimized save ball plays. He's dead. <laughs> we just killed a plus 10 Brave Hector, guys, with a red unit. Got that love, Flora. Anyway, who's up next? Our oh, classic Flora enemy here is Fallen Edelgard, Miller, Ash, Atri, Peony, and Air. All unmerged. Let's see what the approach is here. Well, the approach seems to be just throwing Ash right into the line of fire. We'll see how that pays off. Well, it's Brownmon going in first. 17 times 2. There's the 17. And... Here's for Moonbow. And that is defeat. Good job, Bramamond. Honestly been pulling through really well by Mythic standards here. Now they did isolate Azura, so no dance for us. Atri kills Bramamond. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's dead. direction she's taking 12 back okay it's a little bit of damage but not like an exceeding amount of damage with Kanto control love that skill and just moving a little bit out of range all right where are we going okay Medeus with the rally Ooh, country getting danced 81 <laughs> That's a little bit silly. Just a little bit silly. But you know. Okay, um, it, it would have been a little handier if you actually stuck around in the middle of there as opposed to running away. Edelgard actually only barely killing Azura is a bit of a surprise to me. Hits Catria. Takes how much back? 28, not bad. And that's Gale Force, so one more strike. Cantry is dead. And yeah, it, it only has kind of wandered off and is on her own, so she's not really getting the most out of her effect here. And Hardy Fighter. Well, it 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 kept her a little bit alive, but you shouldn't get in my way. oh, actually. With damage reduction, is this going to be... <sighs> it was nearly there. She nearly lived. She was really close to not being dead. But unfortunately, uh, she found a way to become dead anyway. Unfortunate. Well, still, they sacrificed Peony here as well. Medea's going to just blast her. That's, that's, that's what getting blasted looks like. Now, does Atri kill? Helmar, how hard does the damage reduction kick in here? Not hard enough. Not at all, in fact. And, oh, Flora. <sighs> Shame, too. Flora, normally a really great match against Fallen Edelgard. In fact, still doing great against Fallen Edelgard, taking three whole combats here. Three whole combats, and even then, only barely dying. Fallen Edelgard. We were, there was one hit point in it, but unfortunately cannot survive the player phase of Fallen Edelgard, no matter how hard she tries. Playing around now to try and get pots is understandable. Everyone loves pots, myself included. Although since I love my pots, um, I do not like it when other people steal my pots. You know how it is? Huh. 
but it looks like it looks like we're only making a play for one pot today. I'll accept that. They sacrificed three units and gave up one pot. Um, so even though we technically lost that battle, I I'm not considering that a loss. Although I am really sad that we didn't get to see a full nail guard get absolutely obliterated by our new freshly refined picnic flora. Real shame. But. Well, let's keep going, shall we? Next up here. Well, we may get a bit of a run back looking at this team. We've got Air, Ash, Fallen Edelgard, a Freya plus one, Ascendant Fjorm plus one, and Peony plus one. And yep, the Fallen Edelgard play putting her up front, but covered by Ascendant Fjorm, interestingly enough. Let's see how it plays out. Well, the first thing that's always a little silly is when they set up like, oh, Catria actually going in. Catria just killed Fallen Edelgard, guys. You, you saw that? And the text with the, with the extra movement from Azura going all the way to the back line, blasting another peony. I mentioned I love Medeus as well. Like I know I've been gushing over Flora. Over Flora, looks like she's not really getting involved this time. Brown going on Fjorm. Okay, does not unfortunately get the kill and kind of dead on the counter attack. Well, I said the film will do that to you, but look at where our team set up and look at that surrender. That was a bit silly. Um, Catri has been massively overperforming today. Good job to her. All right, fellas, keep them rolling. We have here Kinchi Hinoka plus four. Ascendant Fjorm again plus four. Um, Brave Dimitri plus 10. Very interesting build, to say the least. Miller, Ash plus one, and Air with Tamari. And here's Dimitri taking point, covered by Ascend Fjorm on save. And Bramond actually just going <laughs> straight in there. Maybe not the ideal play. They did actually make the sensible choice of um, isolating our rally unit there, our Medeus, which is why we didn't get any rally nonsense happening. But worry not, Flora has found her way to the front anyway, and Descendant Fjorm is a little bit dead. And by a little bit, I mean um, actually very dead. Catria wins the speed check against Dimitri. Um, doesn't kill this time, but nonetheless, we're in a very strong position here, and that was a rapid surrender. Now, who's up next? We have here Ash, Air plus one, Peony plus two, Yuri with the instant glimmer, Ascendant Fjorm, and Harmonic Leaf. Yuri going straight in, actually, trying to get the kill on turn one, but that's the Hex Trap, my friend. That's a real Hex Trap. And Hex Trap doing the... I... I don't think that was supposed to be swap. <laughs> Accidentally swapping their Harmonic Leaf directly into danger and getting... Or maybe they were caught out by Kanto Control is the other thing, but either way, um, they just kind of messed up. <laughs> always check your skills, fellas. Always check your skills. Otherwise, that'll happen. Next here, Peony plus one, Miller plus two, Fallen Edelgard plus six, Ash plus one, Micaiah, Legendary Micaiah plus ten, and Air also plus ten. And it is Fallen Edelgard taking point here. Are we going to see it? There's the Rally. There's the Dance. And there's the Flora. 
51 times 4. That's one very dead Edelgard. One kill and one kill is all we need. That person obviously very attached. Fair Edelgard could not stand the thought of continuing the battle without her. Understandable. Now up next. Oh, would you look at that? Eh. Plus five. Fallen Edelgard plus four Spalian Shield. Ash plus one. Peony plus four. Flame. And Ulla plus two. What's the play this time? Okay, getting one pot straight off the gate. Sensible move. And positioning to let Fallen Edelgard transform. Now, are they going right in with her? Yes, they are. Dance as well. The smite up and kind of ruined it by finding the real gravity trap there, but it was a nice attempt. Should have just gone into the Brown Mond, I think. Should have just gone into Brown Mond. Anyway, um, Spalian Shield protects you from armor effectiveness, but not Flora. 74 by 4. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. And are we going to get some more kills? Because I'd like some more kills. Yeah, Brownmond knows what's up. Brownmond going 56 by 4, which is plenty. 56 by 1 was already enough. Flora. Flora summons an even bigger number. Can't let her be showed up. And we've rolled up to a position where, again, we're all covered by our far save. And yeah, yeah, there's, there's not much winning against that. Not if you play it like that, buddy. <laughs> God, I love Flora. And last up this season, a team that looks very similar to my own, Dagger, plus eight. Ascendant Fjorm, plus eight, good merges. Brave Lucina, plus four, Arden, plus ten, very good unit. Love this guy, one of the best units out there. Air, plus eight, and Ash, plus three. Shield Pulse, again? We had one of those last, last Dark Season. What, what, why? Is, is, is there something about Ash that I'm missing? Is Ash secretly really good with shield pulse anyway doesn't matter because we're going in they've set up in their save ball and now it's time for us to oh yeah arden very strong unit but on the flip side does not like getting hit by dragons and especially not armor effective blue dragons uh whoops is all i can say to that and that gives medeus the chance to um Kind of obliterate Lucina here as well, by the looks of things. Oh, not actually getting triangle attack. Lucina gets a counter attack for some damage, uh, but not enough, and she dies anyway. And Bramamond going right in there. One of these days you'll kill an ascendant fuel on Bramamond. One of these days. But not today. Six and nine damage. Nice. Even though he's dead. And yeah, a pretty convincing end to the season there. Uh, Flora could have done some good work, but it wasn't even necessary for the rest of the units on this team pulling their own weight as well. Send Idan, Medeus, Bram surprisingly Bramamond as well. I didn't expect Bramamond to be getting this much done. All very good units. And that all adds up to a superbly superb dark season well what do you think guys you like it i liked it i liked it a lot it's mainly because i was winning <laughs> if you want to see more winning um i'll let you in a little secret floral will be back on anima season next week uh so if you want to see that well you know how to get my videos in your inbox 
It's called the little subscribe button and the little bell button. Combine those two together and hopefully um, the correct things will happen. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all then. Ta-ra.